everybody, it's noon on Tuesday. I'm Keely reporting to you live from Still with a Kiss in downtown Guthrie, Oklahoma, America. Um, let's see, we've got some fun things to show you today. So let's just get right to it. We actually have some new stuff. Um, first of all, this is this came in. Uh, Likey Blush has come out with double points. Now normally we don't just order one measly set of double points, but this is all we got. So this is the only one we have. It is the uh, blush needles, and these are the larger sets. They have a, they come, they're, like these double points come split into two size sets. One's the small, that has the smaller sizes, and this is the uh, larger one that has six through 13. So this is the only one of these we have. I'm sure it'll go fast for pink double point needle lovers, but more are in the pike, hopefully to arrive soon. Speaking of arriving soon, probably the question of the most of the year, actually we've been waiting on these since the summer, are uh, more ball winders and swifts from Likey. We get asked this every day, when are those coming? And really the most accurate answer I've been able to give up till today is, you know, nobody really knew. Well, good news, uh, we finally have word that they are here in apparently in the country and are making their way down the pike to us. And we, I was afraid because we would order and then I'd order more and I'd order more because I knew how many people wanted them. I, so I didn't know how many we were going to get. And I thought it might be like this or we got a very small part of our order. Good news, it looks like it's all coming. So we're going to have quite a bit of the Likey Ball Riders and Swift in Mango and in Rosewood. So if you've been waiting, it's finally time. Yay! You know, it didn't take a whole year. Good news. All right, this box is filled with new yummy yarns from Menace Uruguay. This is Feliz, which is really a pretty yarn. Of course, this is just the natural color. Let me move some of this stuff over. I'm making a mess already. Here's a color color. So you can see these are all hand dyed. Of course, the natural one is not. Um, this is Merino with Modal. It is, I'm trying to remember what weight it is. I think it's DK weight. Yeah, 22 over four. This yarn has super drape. It's really soft. This is a great yarn for our climate because you can wear this multi-seasonal. It's not too hot. And you'll really like the drape on the modal. Really Isn't that pretty color? Yeah, that is so in the Mano Swirl, they, it's kind of like a spring yarn. In fact, they think they introduced it last spring. Um, but for us, it's a all the time yarn. Look at all these great colors. Yellow. This whole box, I'm telling you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pile the table up here. Green. Well, that's a blue. That's, that's a different color. Isn't it? Here, I'm moving these over. I'm going to knock those off. I'm going to have them. Ooh, look at these. Fun for spring. Look at all those together. This yarn feels super good, too. I know what uh, Sophia's going to be doing this afternoon. <laughs> don't you, Jennifer? Mm -hmm. Twisting skeins. No big deal. We don't mind. We don't mind twisting them at all. It's no biggie. And then they sent a couple of the new designs from Deborah Gerd. I can't say her name right. Gerhard. Sorry if I'm butchering her name. I'm not the linguist of the bunch, but a couple new designs from her shawl. And this really pretty sweater. We have a cool sample in the pike that we'll show you soon. Hopefully it'll get worked up quick. But this just came. Um, we'll have to move over to another table for the rest of this, filling up our tables. Um, Noro, this is actually a fall yarn. Yay, fall yarns are here in time for spring. But uh, that's how it works. <laughs> Since it comes from Japan, it's been stuck in that Pacific Ocean mess. So Noro's are, yarns are super late this season. This is Miyabi. It's not a new yarn. It's one we've had before. We decided we'd go in with some more colors of it. And it is really super pretty. I think we have, what, four colors out? I swear I ordered more than three colors. We have, we're still waiting on some. I think I ordered more than this. But it's all good. We'll just be glad to get what we get when we get it. This color. And this is a really unusual color combination. This yarn is so soft. You will like this one. Some people think Noro yarns are scratchy. Over the years, they've really worked to not make them as scratchy and then they've got several in the line that are soft as can be this is like butter one reason why is miyabi has cashmere in it Let's see if the fiber content on this i don't have it to my memory okay it's 65 wool 35 cashmere and this is a worsted weight yarn beautiful 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 um last week we would like to have shown you these since they launched on the 15th 
but in usual style. The distributor did not get us our books in time. New books from Rowan. If it's ever new and we don't have them, it's because nobody has them because some people can't seem to put things in a box and ship it on time. It's very frustrating. Uh, of course, they're dealing with, I'm sure, transport issues as well. Uh, but this is abstract from Georgia Farrell. Really nice designs uh, for a felted tweed. And I believe there may be some kids' okays in here too. Really. Here's kind of, I love her sketches. Isn't that cool? She's a good, I can't do that. I'm a terrible sketcher. They look like stick people. We'll flip through. That's cool. Really fun designs in here. And you can definitely see her architecturally inspired influence. Look at that coat. I love that. This is just a really good book. Of course, we're really fond of Georgia. A lot of asymmetrical stuff in here. I think that's the end of that. And then Brandon Mobley has his own little collection here. Um, what he's done is take this basic uh, kind of box style sweater, which is totally on trend. And then he's got different uh, designs that you can put on there. So you can tell he's come up with a different designs for you. That says I am, but if you look at it right, it also looks like Miami. So I think if you needed a sweater in Miami, that would double too. That's what I think. With the crosses and they don't have the sweater shown in all of the all of the designs but and even if maybe you weren't up for an intarsia project this is just a nice boxy sweater and this uses um i believe soft yak Let's see if i'm right I'm trying to remember all this yes soft yak dk love 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 this yarn what else do we have is that all new i think that's all that's new more coming in um more Lantern Moon coming in. We're on like our third or fourth wave of Lantern Moon. We've been shipping it out so fast. Everybody's in love with the Lantern Moon. And we're also getting back ready for classes that are upcoming this week, uh, Thursday from 10.30 to 12.30. We have error correction. Even if you're not a new knitter, I can promise you, you'll learn something. I've got ways to fix errors that'll blow your mind. I love to teach them. And then on Saturday, uh, we have a new class in the rotation on Fair Isle. Uh, we're going to show kind of the basics of Fair Isle, including uh, the different methods of holding the yarn, how to catch floats, and so forth. All the things you need to know if you want to tackle Fair Isle or maybe just get a little bit better at it. And next Tuesday, we'll have company because it's time for our 9 to noon crew. They will be here from 9 to noon, and we'll be, uh, they'll be still kind of milling around when we do our live. And hopefully, we'll have some more stuff Coming. I know we do. I keep getting ship notices to show you. And who knows what else we'll be up to by then. So I guess that's all I have for everybody today. And I'll see you next week. Bye, y'all.